Hi YouTube, I'm back. I just want to talk a little about my protective styling and what works for me. Um, in the first video I did, I had the kinky twist, and then in the last video on this one, I have my lace wigs. I like wigs a lot, um, not just because, you know, the, the look. I like them now because it is <clears throat> probably one of the easiest and best protective styles that I have found that works for me. Being that I have, you know, very dry... Uh, coarse hair it's easy for me to keep my hair in cornrows because that way retains the best moisture for me um, with the wigs I can just keep my hair in cornrows you know take them off when I get home um, even with this wig this is a lace wig still the same thing it's on a little longer but it keeps me out of my hair it keeps me from manipulating it a lot which you know a lot of times it can be good but it can be bad um, for me, this is what works for me. Um, I'm still experimenting with my products, um, even with my glycerin and my hair being in cornrows. Sometimes I can feel that it still gets to be a little dry, and I will. Sp I do spray my braids with the glycerin, uh, my cornrows. But I like to have the cornrows. It's very simple. It's very convenient for me. I try to do all my own hairstyles. Um, uh, my kinky twists, my braids, anything that I can do, I like to do. But since, you know, having two little ones and working full time, being in school full time, even though I just go online, it's still hard and I don't find the time that I used to have to be able to do my micro braids and just individual hairstyles like that. So, um, with me doing the wigs, I have seen a lot of growth in my hair. Um, it protects it from the elements, whether it's the heat or the cold. Um, just having something on my hair to help also, you know, like I said, block the elements and retain that moisture for me. Um, another thing, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, is I don't really use shampoos anymore. I just conditioner wash. The last shampoo I used was the Dr. Bronner's probably maybe six to eight weeks ago. So I still um, like to just co-wash my hair. It's not that long. It's thick, but it's not that long, so um, it's easy for me to do, I guess, now. And then I also, because I'm not using a lot of product on my hair, I haven't used my shea butter mix in a while. I've just been using my glycerin spray because my hair has been cornrowed. I just spray it on there in the morning and at night, like I said, um, when I have a wig that I take off every day. That's when I just spray it on there. Now, my lace wigs, um, with me, the type of adhesive I'm using, I probably only get a two day hold at the most a really good hold by the third day for me it's lifting so what i usually do is i take it off reapply it you know um sometimes i will wash my hair in between but that's if i'm going to switch to another wig or so because it takes pretty much all day for my hair to dry and like i said it's not even long um but other times i'll just you know take it off you know, let my hair breathe for maybe that day. Um, we do my cornrows. Um, sometimes I will put my uh, shea butter mix in there, but this time I didn't. I just uh, sprayed my water glycerin mix on there, and then I reapplied my wig. And it'll probably be off again, maybe Sunday or Monday, and then I'll probably take it off and wash my hair this weekend. And um, I might not put this wig back on. I might go just back to my regular wig. Um, just because I feel like it, um, so I, since I didn't really mess with my hair this week, um, but I like, like I said, the fact that it keeps me from manipulating my hair a lot. I also do not really comb my hair. I will finger comb, detangle in the shower, whatever. Once again, my hair is not that long, but it is still very, very coarse, so I try not to manipulate it too much to keep the breakage down. I have very minimal breakage, um if any mostly probably just natural shedding because like I said I keep my hair up so um, I try to just stay away from a comb for now and since I'm not actually really styling my hair and just keeping it in braids I don't have to um, you know use a comb I can just use the comb to part it for my braid finger comb through that little section and then braid it back up um, if I was doing some styles like twist or something like that, then it would be more of an issue for the detangling. So, um, this is just what works for me. 
Um, you know, different things work for different people. I'm still trying to find some products that I like. I'm in love with the glycerin since I tried it. I'm still liking the shea butter uh, mix that I use. And, you know, like I said, I'm still just trying to find what works for me. So I'm on YouTube trying new ideas every day. And, you know, you guys should do the same. Sometimes if you find something that works for you, that's great. If you're still looking, keep looking. Don't get discouraged. There's a lot of videos out there that can give you a lot of help. Um, and that's where I get a lot of my ideas and help from. There's hair forums. There's natural hair forums. There's just regular growth forums. Um, forums for whether you have a relaxer or whether you're natural. So just, you know, take your time. Look on the internet. Read a book. You know, and just ask people. And, you know, find something that works for you. Because what works for one person might not work for another. As we all know, it's trial and error. And even just with my shea butter mix... I've, you know, I've used some things people have suggested and I've tried other things that I just, you know, personally wanted to put in there that I like. So um, hopefully you guys will see me do another, vis uh, another video soon and stay tuned for that.